This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and every now and then I like to check in on locks I've featured in the past to see if they've been improved. That's particularly so when I've had harsh words for them, as is the case with this Centurion USA round body padlock. I featured it about three and a half years ago in video number 597. This lock looks impressive, but it emitted shielding between the back of the core and the locking mechanism, shielding that probably would have cost just a couple of pennies to add. That emission rendered the lock susceptible to a simple bypass in which I can reach straight through the keyway and manually turn the locking mechanism. Now the question is whether in the three and a half years since I exposed the issue, the company fixed the design flaw. So I just purchased another one of these locks, but before we check to see if they added shielding, we're gonna see if they've done anything to increase pick resistance. After all, they are representing this has a quote, domino key mechanism that prevents picking. And if you're wondering what is a domino key mechanism, well, I am wondering that as well. We're going to be using a top of the keyway bent tensioner in 50 thousandths. I should actually note that we just released a four bent tensioner set over on covertinstruments.com. It's something that means a lot to me. I started using them about four years ago after I developed severe tendinitis in my left hand from it being in awkward positions while picking. These bent tensioners allow for far more comfortable hand positions, especially while picking padlocks. And I haven't had any issues with tendon pain since I started using them. So it was something that I felt strongly about sharing with the picking community. So nothing on one, two, Okay, three is binding. Little click out of three. Click out of four. Click out of five, back to the beginning. One is binding. Click out of one. Click out of two, and we got this open. So I have no idea what a domino key mechanism is, but it certainly does not prevent picking. And now for the moment of truth, did they spend the pennies it would take to fix the bypass issue? No, they did not. Okay, folks, three and a half years ago, not only did I expose the problem, but I showed them how to fix it. The absence of any action over the years leads me to believe that they just don't care. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.